In this video, we're going to talk about why you can't fire your hips in your golf swing. So Alex, you're going to talk us through some issues that we might be seeing. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to talk about it from the point of view of what I hear on the lesson tee all the time and also from some of the comments that I've read down below. So now the, the two common ones that I see and one that I hear all the time is, oh, I can't stop standing up yep. and I can't stop sliding on the downswing. Yeah, so both really common as we've found with a lot of the people watching these videos. And again, it can be a multitude of, of reasons, but the main one that we typically find is issues with the left hip and not being able to rotate through the left hip joint. So if you think what we have to do in the downswing is, as I've sort of completed my backswing here, I wanna pull this left hip away to initiate the start of my downswing. And that requires quite a lot of physical movement. I've gotta pull the, the left hip joint around this way and keep my butt back at the same time. So what we tend to find is people that struggle with that particular movement we'll often have to find a way around it and compensate so then what we have to do is we have to sort of come forwards like this because that allows me up onto the toes to kind of cheat my way around that movement I don't have to load through it the same yeah. or again like you said the slide aspect where I can sort of buckle a bit at the knees and that'll shift my weight across somewhat to try and create a similar strike and get a feeling of strike so exactly from your point of view now if you step in here now yeah you give us like from your uh, point of view biomechanically what actually has to happen imagine you're giving us like a little synopsis a step-by-step -step guide of what has to happen before we get into the drill yeah sure so if i let you uh, hold that a sec alex all we're looking at now is basically if you think if i'm a right-handed golfer i've rotated into my backswing this way i've loaded this right hip joint so my thigh bone here is sat into the socket all my weights on this side it's supported through my glute and my quad and my core and my trunk has rotated clubs into the backswing so now what we're looking to do is take all that weight to the left hand side so i'm going to pull this left hip around me like that so the pelvis is coming round this way so key thing with the pelvis is it doesn't just move right and left it has to tilt as well yeah. so it has to arch and it has to tuck so as i come into the backswing it's going to arch slightly opening this joint yeah. as i then come into the downswing it's going to tuck underneath like this opening this side That's of the socket the thing that i think a lot of people find hard yeah. is that feeling of it tucking underneath and actually allowing this left hip to feel like it moves up and around. Yeah, correct. And actually it's the, the arch and the tuck that's the difficult part because you can ask most golfers, right, can you rotate into your pockets? And they'll get a sensation for that feeling with a little bit of practice. But in order to do that effectively, we have to, to arch and tuck the pelvis. So from here, what I have to do is sort of stick my backside out and tuck it all the way under. So if I had a belt buckle on, what I'm looking to do in the downswing is bring this belt buckle underneath me mm -hmm. and rotate. And the tricky thing is, it's such a fine movement, you're not really gonna have a lesson yeah, and yeah. actually work on that. So what we have to do is work on that within exercise. So would you find that you find that a lot of golfers and when they come to you and do, do the screening, they either do that naturally or they don't do it at all. There's not really a middle ground. Yeah, it's the, probably the most failed test. The pelvic tilt test is what we get a lot of golfers to do. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a tricky one because we're asking you to move the pelvis independently from the rest of the body. So we've got a brain skill element. Your brain has to go, right, keep this steady while this moves. But also because most people are so sedentary these days, you know, especially at the minute in lockdown, we're all inside. We're all sat working at, at home on desks. So we spend a lot of time seated in this position so the pelvis isn't getting any motion whatsoever no. yeah, yeah. then we come to go play golf we either have a lesson we go to the range we get on the first tee and all of a sudden we just expect our body to be able to create these motions that we do no practice on yeah and then people get frustrated saying oh i can't stop standing up can't exactly stop sliding so there you go that's what actually needs to happen i actually think that's some really valuable advice and even just doing what you did there showing people yeah. tucking it from people rotating and putting your hands on your hips and doing it would yeah. probably have a benefit anyway. Yeah, I think it's a real simple drill that everyone can do at home is to find your hip bones on the front where you feel them stick out. If you come into posture, what we're looking for is, right, can you move your fingertips down to the floor and then can you bring them close to your chin? So if I go down to the floor like this, my backside will stick out and I get this dip in my lower back. Then I'm gonna try and bring my fingertips like this towards me. The pelvis has come underneath or posterior tilted. Yeah. And that's a real key skill to try and get. And I think the easiest Way to do it is to, to actually help yourself find the hip bones on the front and feel is anything moving or not if you get in not a lot going on and you're having to move the hands we know that the pelvis isn't really doing much movement there okay so let's get into what we really wanted to show you the, the drill with the band we know we love the bands on the channel we love the bands <laughs> we should probably have our own um, um, maybe we should make some maybe comment down below and, and before we actually show you the, um, the drill uh, do smash those comments down below what other fitness areas do you want us to cover 
And also, if you are enjoying the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Got the band again on the door. Really nice and simple. You can hook it on a banister or yeah, anything, really. anything above the head height. Cool. So in golf posture. Golf posture again. I'm gonna grab it in my left hand. Yeah, you can take probably a full grip on this one, actually, Alex. Okay. And then all we're going to do is I want you to not pull the band with your arms or upper body. You're going to pull it through the left hip opening to the left. That's it. And we start to see that the band will travel down. And then you can relax that movement off. You can let the tension come all the way up again. And then you're going to open that left hip to me without dragging the band down through the arms. And then if you want to make this a little more difficult, you can grab halfway up the band so there's more tension on it. And then this time you're going to repeat the exact same motion, pulling through that left hip, and then just making sure that you're not dragging the band through the arms. You're going to open that left hip around into the impact position. Where, where should I be feeling this? Where are the, the main areas I'll be feeling? This? Yeah, so you're probably going to feel this a little bit in the left glute, maybe a little bit across the rib cage as well, where you start to separate and you pull the hips away from yeah. the torso at that point in the downswing. Um, and maybe a little bit through the arms as well, where you're kind of feeling like you're having to hold a bit of tension in the band. So that took actually quite a lot of like, um, I guess my brain to organize the motion. Like that's it. I can tell straight away by me doing that exercise. I don't do that as well as I need to. Yeah. To really focus on this doing the work, not pulling it. Yeah, it's a sequencing drill, really. Again, it's similar to the one that we did for the backswing earlier. It's a, a feel and a sensation drill. So a lot of the exercises we do, we're looking for you to increase strength or mobility or stability. Whereas this one, we're trying to connect the golf swing to what your body can feel. Yeah. So we're getting you to understand the sensation of, right, okay, where do I need to put my body to get into those positions in the golf swing? And that's why the band's so good, is that it gives you that instant feedback of, well, if this is too slack, I've probably pulled it with the arms. And then if you can feel the tension, we can feel the core loading more, the glutes doing something right okay i must have loaded through that left hip a little bit better yeah perfect so i really think that exercise will help me fire my hips in the golf swing i know it'll help you too and if you'd like to see more fitness videos you know what to do hit the big red subscribe button or the thumbs up on all the videos thanks for watching